taxpayers can't afford Governor Malloy's budget solution. So after uh, weeks of waiting, the GOP came up with their own budget plan today. It's one that they say really cuts spending and does not raise any taxes. Our chief political correspondent, Mark Davis, live in our Hartford newsroom with more. Mark, is there any chance that this pan plan could pass? Uh, and I don't mean okay. I mean absolutely zero. Good evening, Sonia and Keith. Good evening, everyone from the Hartford newsroom. This Republican plan really comes too late in the process. The governor and the Democrats are closing in on their budget solution that's going to be done without any Republican input. The people who are paying for the cost of government cannot afford it any longer. Surrounded by Republican House and Senate members, their leaders zeroed in on Governor Malloy's proposed tax increases, most of which are expected to be approved by a committee vote later this week. Our budget does not create any new taxes in any way, shape, or form. And the Republicans zeroed in in a timely fashion, saying their budget does not increase the gas tax one cent either and caps the gross receipts tax on fuel. Malloy's plan proposes a three cent hike. They also propose eliminating over a thousand managerial jobs in state government and consolidating 36 state agencies down to just nine to eliminate hundreds more, saying the only sector that hasn't had to sacrifice in the recession is state government. We cut all of the legislative commissions and we create one. And you know what? The people in this building are gonna howl. And you know what? The people outside this building the real 3.2 million people in the state of Connecticut are going to say, why'd you have them in the first place? And the Republicans say that while Malloy was holding those 17 town hall meetings, they were holding their own and heard an entirely different message. We were also listening, as the governor was, uh, and what everyone here heard was government needs to stop spending so much money. In reaction late this afternoon, the governor noted that the Republicans, like him, were expecting a billion dollars a year in givebacks from the state labor unions. The idea that we can get concessions from a group as we're laying them off um, is a bit of a stretch. His plan again, that story coming up at 6, live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.